23rd Psalm. The Lord is my pilot. I shall not go adrift. He lights my passage across dark channels. He steers me through deep waters. He keeps my log. He guides me by the evening star for my safety's sake. Yes, though I sail mid the thunders and tempests of life, I feel no pearl, peril, for thou art with me. Thy stars and heavens comfort me. The vastness of the sea upholds me. Surely fair winds and safe harbors shall be found all the days of my life, and I sh shall dock secure forever. Amen. Amen. The Two Bells Ceremony. The Toll of the Ship's Bell. Reminds us of the reverence we owe to our departed shipmates. Upon the sea, under the sea, in the air, and upon foreign soil. Let it be a reminder of the faith they confide in us. Let us who gather here not forget our obligations. Let us now bow our heads and offer a silent prayer for all of our departed shipmates who are now serving on the staff of the Supreme Commander. For our shipmates, wherever they may be, to the living, smooth sailing, fair winds, favoring winds and tides, to the departed, rest in peace. I am now going to read off the shipmates that we know about from the Simon Lake who have departed since we last met. I will note that in some cases we have rates or ranks, in some cases we do not, in some cases we have when they served on board, in some cases we do not. Uh, I will also remind all of you that this list depends on everybody's input for future. HTCM B.B. Lyle, he was R1 Division. GM, G2, Anita Irving. Ernest Rios, served 85 to 88 on the lake. BCA, Marvin Kumet. HTCS, William D. Vance. By the way, as I go through this, if any of you do know these people and know more about them, you can say something. SFM3, Bill Russell, <laughs> R1 Division, 67 to 69. Steve Wayman, Missile Shop, 72 to 75. Richard Woods, Art Sherman, HTCS William D. Fan. I said that one. Sorry. HT1 William Channel. HTFN Robert Kendall. HTFN <laughs> James J. Harrigan. MT3 Andrew Lowry. 79 to 81. Robert Woolleg, Woldridge, a W-4 missile tech. PO-3, Michael D. Fisher, damage control. HT-2, Steve Dutton, DC shop in the 80s. Lieutenant Commander Char Charles E. Decker. MM-1, Michael R. Long. 95 to 96. Tommy Karumba. Lieutenant Commander John Titus. He was Assistant Supply Officer 
Ecom Group, if I'm correct. Jim Poe, he was on the ship in round 66. HT2, Dan Statmiller, 91 to 94. Uh, and SK, Cecil Tackett, 78 to 82. MR1, Richard Smith, in the 80s. Chief Petty Officer, Felipe, Felipe Payne, A. Corner in the late 70s. EN1, Thomas Mickey, 83, Boats and Grainshaw. Willie James Baker, uh, the 60s in Holy Land. Uh, also, next on this list are going to be people that are harder to talk about for us. Carol Sarek. Sever Gandio, the wife of Peter, who was a regular at this meeting. And though she was not officially on the crew of the Simon Lane, she was certainly <clears throat> part of the crew of these reunions for many years. BT1, Reggie, <laughs> many know him as Butch, <coughs> Colby. 73 to 75. Jill and Butch were regulars at these reunions. And Butch always had great stories to tell us. He was a, he was a really good, fun part of these reunions. <clears throat> HT2, Clyde Sunny Ball. From 67 to 69 on the lake. Clyde together with either his <coughs> wife, Midge, or his daughter, Sissy, were almost always at the reunions. He was a big part of them. He was quick to try to make us laugh. <laughs> and as one person put it when we first got here, who's going to annoy us as much as him anymore? <laughs> <laughs> annoy us in a good way. The next one also was never officially a crew member of the Simon Lake, but was a huge part of these, these reunions. I could tell some funny stories about her. Carol Ellis, the wife of our second commanding officer. Right. She was a very popular person, uh, great fun to be around. She'll be sorely missed. And of course, Rear Admiral, George F. Ellis, Jr. As a captain, commanding officer of the USS Simon Lake in 1966 to 1968, <clears throat> there is so much we can say about the uh, Annapolis grad who graduated during World War II. He was a World War II veteran. He served during the Vietnam era. He was a flag officer. And I will just say, I think on behalf of all of us who attended this reunion, uh, will be a sorely missed friend. This is a, a memorial prayer for a departed shipmate. Eternal God, the source and grace of life, the destiny toward whom all life flows, we have gathered in this memorial service to remember our shipmates who have died. Sanctify every good memory and cut short every vain attempt to treat their death lightly. In their death, we are dismayed at how transient and fleeting life is. Comfort those who knew them well and mourn their loss. Help them survive and enable them to bear up under the burden of their pain and loss. Bring peace to the troubled spirits of all those who have the courage to face their own death. Let their death be a bond between us as we are never far from death. Speak softly to us that we need never fear the terror of death nor flee from the rare privilege of life. 
the Lord be gracious and merciful unto them, and let your light shine upon them. May they live and reign with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And let, I want to say thanks to all the people that have helped make this reunion a success, especially my good friend Pete. The reunion committee was John Craig, myself, Jim, but the one who did all the work for the committee almost was Pete. Thank you. Really appreciate it.